Hey y'all, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make two really easy and super cute gnomes. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to make both of them. All right, y'all, let us get started. First off, we're going to be making the feet for both of our little gnomes. Now listen, 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 word to the wise here. When you are working with molds, some of them are sticky. You see, it kind of sticks to my finger just a little bit. I have so many molds and pretty much every mold I've ever purchased comes in one of these reusable bags. Please, when you're done with your mold, put it back in the bag because these will attract any type of the tiniest little dust particle and they're very difficult to get clean again. So keep it covered. Good advice for all aspects of life. Just keep it covered. And you'll be all right. You, like I said, put it back in there. Use a Ziploc. <clears throat> but anyway, let's get a tape measure here. And I want to show you this tape measure is filthy. But anyway, let's measure these little feet so that you can see about how tall they are. Okay, that's the big one. You see it's right at two inches. And then this one, about one and a half inches tall. But anyway, what we're going to be using with this is this Sculpey clay. Now, this comes from Hobby Lobby. <coughs> there are all different types and brands of this clay, but the number one thing that you need to make sure is, is that it will dry, okay? This is oven bake clay. You can use air dry clay if you want to. Now, in the past, people have come to me and said, I tried to do one of your crafts and my clay didn't set up. Well, because they were using modeling clay that they got from the Dollar Tree, okay? That clay is not designed to dry out. It's not designed to harden up. So you need to make sure that the clay that you're using is going to dry out and harden up. Like I said, this is oven bake clay. Now, you just use whatever color that you want for your gnome's flesh tone. And then what you do is make sure your hands are super clean, please. And you just break off a piece like so. And I just like to knead it between my fingers. You see, it's very hard to squish right now. But the more you work with it, it's going to warm up. It's going to soften up. It's going to become a lot more pliable. Okay. And you want that because if you take your clay when it's really, really firm and then try to mash it down into your mold like that, see, it's going to distort your mold and you're not going to get good results. Okay. So I'm just going to sit here and take a minute to mush up this clay. Okay, now this is pretty pliable now. See, you can see it's really warmed up. So now all you're gonna do is you're gonna take it and you're gonna smush it down into your mold, okay? I'm just gonna mash it. Now, now be careful when you press it down in there. I just kinda take my fingers and work it in like so. Now, if you're not careful, this is gonna stick to your finger and then when you lift your fingers, you're gonna pull it up out of the mold. So I'm just going to work it down in there. And you can see I've got a little bit of excess on the edges here. Just work it down and then just kind of take my finger like so. Just roll it away. Just set it off to the side. Okay. You can see I'm just getting the excess off there. Just keep working with it. Now try to mash the back down to get it flat so that there's no, you know, divots and waves. That can be difficult. But just work with it a little bit, and, and you'll get there. All right, so we've got our little feet in there. And when you flip them out, if they're not perfect, you can always take an X-Acto knife and go around the edges if you need to. But anyway, all right, so this is pressed in there. Try to not warp them too much when you press them out. Now, that one has a crease in it, and if it does, it's okay. You could just take your fingers, and you can just smooth it out. But now, <clears throat> excuse me. My throat's been bothering me. But now what, I'm going to make a few more. But once you get your little feet popped out and made, just read your package and it will tell you how long to bake it. Okay, it goes by thickness. It will tell you how long and at what temperature. Okay, now I like to use a little toaster oven for this. I know non-toxic and all that, but I don't like to put clay and whatnot in the oven where my food goes. So I have a separate tiny, tiny little toaster oven that I put mine in. So I'm going to make a few more feet. And then I'm going to go throw them in the oven and harden them up. And then we'll come back and continue. Okay. The feet and noses. And yes, noses. I mean, noses. Did I show you how to do that? No, because all I did, I just rolled the clay into a ball. Okay. So that's all that I did. Now, I did put these like on a little baking sheet covered with parchment paper. Don't put it on wax paper. Put it on parchment paper or a cookie sheet, baking sheet that you're not going to use for anything else other than that. Okay. So what is this? 
this is a mushroom from the Dollar Tree. And here I have some fur. Now, I got this at Hobby Lobby. You can get it pretty much any craft store sells stuff like this. Now, if it was really short fur, as you can see, this is long. Now, if it was short, I would just cut it with some scissors. But because this is fairly long, I'm going to cut it from the back with an X-Acto knife, okay? So first, let's see how much of this we want to use. I'm just going to cut right about there. Now, if I cut too much, that's fine. I could just cut some off. But I'm just going to cut it with my X-Acto knife here. Like so. Now, why did I cut it from the back like that? To kind of preserve the long fuzzy fur here, okay? All right, so I'm going to glue it all the way up underneath here, okay? Now, let's see about how far down I need to cut it. I want to cut it right about there. So let me just make a mark, okay? And I'm going to cut this piece. When you're cutting this, just be careful that you're just cutting through that backing there. Because, see, you don't want to cut all the way through the front and then cut off all of your furries. So, let's throw that over there. Okay, so I think this will be good enough. I'm not going to glue it all the way around the little mushroom. You can if you want to, but I don't want to. So, now I'm just going to put hot glue here. Right there, too. And not get it on my hand. Let's see. I'm just going to stick it down right like so. Just tuck it down. Okay. And just press that down and let that glue set up. Now, as far as the nose, I have it in my hand here. As far as the nose, I'm just going to kind of separate this just a little bit to try to get sort of like a little flat space here. And then I'm just going to put a blob of glue. And then I have the nose here. I'm just going to hold it right there until that glue sets up. Okay, so now the, the fur here, I keep calling it fur instead of hair, but anyway, you see the, the part that you've separated here? It kind of looks like a little mustache. You could just take a little bit of that between your fingers and twist it if you want to. Makes it look more like a mustache here if you want to do that if you don't want to do that then don't do it all right so now we have the feet and we're gonna put the feet on the same way i'm just going to glue them down and i was trying to determine a while ago do i want to use like the small feet or the big feet i thought the bigger one would be the best size but you know of course you use whatever size you want to use okay now i'm just going to put some glue on the back of this and then, try to see what angle I want it at. I think that looks good. Just gonna hold that there until that glue sets up and then glue the other foot on the other side. Okay, so this is our little gnome. <laughs> he looks like Yosemite Sam. <laughs> All right, what do I have here? A wooden slice. You can get these in bags at Michael's Hobby Lobby. I do believe Walmart carries them as well. Why are you here? Over there. Stop. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to glue. And you know what? I'm going to leave this label on. If you don't like it, come after me. Let me get another glue stick. So we're going to put some glue on his little bottom. And we're going to glue it down to this little wood slice here. And I'm going to kind of put it just a little bit kind of towards the back. Not like dead center. You know, it's kind of towards the back. Okay, let's fluff up his, uh, his her. So now what do I have? Some of this reindeer moss. Now this moss here came from, ooh, came from Dollar Tree. And what we're going to do, I love the way it smells. I know, I'm weird. Let's just move the hair just a little bit. And then I want to put, stop it. And then I'm going to put some right around here. And just glue this down. I'm trying to be so careful and not get his hair stuck in that glue. Okay, like so. Now come over here, friend. Let's get another piece of, another piece of glue. Oh my gosh. Another piece of moss. 
and just kind of glue that right there. Like I said, just be so careful to not get the, the hair stuck down in there. Stop it. Be a peaceful loving gnome. You sure are giving me a hard time, sir. Okay. Okay, so glue that down right there. Okay. All right. Now we're we're making progress. Kind of, sort of. All right. I want to glue a little bit right here. All right. So this is what we have. And now I'm also going to glue moss up here. Okay. I don't like how plain. Oh, Lordy. I don't like how plain that's looking up here. So let's glue some moss right around the brim here. You can still tell that this is a mushroom, but I just, y'all know how I am. <laughs> now, if you're gonna have cats, dogs, and feral children that might run into this or bump it, then of course, you know, you can back up this moss with a little bit of E6000 if you don't 100% trust the hot glue. But I know where this is going to go in my house. So uh, nobody's going to be messing with it. Okay. There's that. Now I got these tiny little mushrooms. Once again, this is from Hobby Lobby. It's over like in the floral section you know, where they have the stuff for the fairy gardens. This is where I got it. And I do believe I saw some at Michael's as well. So I try to check a handful of craft stores when I'm out and about and see what all everybody has. So I'm just going to put a blob right here, and I'm just going to stick that down right there on his little hat and hold that in place. And then I'm also going to take some of those little mushrooms and glue them down here. I'm trying to get the glue all off of myself, but anyway, this is what we have. How cute is that? How absolutely adorable is that? So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this little guy, so let's move on to the next one. Alright, so for our next little gnome, I'm going to be using these clay pots that I got at Dollar Tree, okay? These are the 3.5 inch in diameter clay pots. I also have a succulent here. Now, you can get succulents at Dollar Tree, of course, but my Dollar Tree was out when I went. So, I grabbed that one at Hobby Lobby. So, let us open this. I wanted to take this and put it down inside this hole here to make it a little bit more sturdy, but hole is not big enough. Stop! Hole is not big enough. So we're just going to have to glue it down on top here in a little bit. So same thing that I did a while ago with the fur and the gnome with the fur. Everybody in the forest was... Okay, so let's see. I'm going to cut this one right about here. Where's my thing? It's bad when you lose your thing. Don't try not to lose your thing. All right. I'm just going to cut this piece right along here. And you said, try to be just careful so that you don't slice through and cut the fur on the front. Okay. So now, once again, we're just going to take our hot glue here and run it along there. And then we're just going to glue that right up along the top of our little clay pot here. Okay. All right, now let's see. Eh. Oh Lord, what have I done? I don't know. Uh, okay then. Where's my? Do y'all see this? I've skinned it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've skinned it. Okay, now will this? Oh gosh, I'm tearing it up. It's all right. It's okay. There we are. Um, I'm going to go ahead and glue this on the top so that I could kind of see. Oh, gosh. I didn't mean to get glued under the hole like that. Okay. So now we have our second layer. Oh, I should have brought that fur up just a little bit higher. You know what? Can I take it off? I'm going to see if I can pull this off and move it up. I did. I moved it up. Okay. Thank goodness. Okay, so now let's go back over here with... Our nose. Now, this nose I made just a little bit larger than I did the other one. Oops, hold on. Let's split the fur like we did a while ago. Let's kind of 
pull that apart like so. Okay. Try to hold this where y'all can see it. And then let's put a big old blob of glue there. Let's see how we want our nose. Okay. Put that right here. And I'm just going to hold that in place. Okay. So this is what we have. How cute is that? Now, let's see what kind of moss. Do we, no, that's too close in color to the fur. So I guess we'll go back and use some of this green moss. Let's go ahead and glue some of that on. Let's see. Try to just be so careful so that you don't get your glue all over the hair here. Let's take just a little bit. And I know a lot of this is going to fall away. I know that. Now, of course, you could have the um, flower pot turned the other way where the opening is at the top. And then, you know, you could switch out the plants in it if you wanted to. But this is the way that I wanted to do it. So I'm going to glue more of this moss around the top. Okay. So this is what we have. And like I said, you know, you could flip this the other way. But this particular cycle is very top heavy. And um, I didn't want the pot to like, you know, flip over. Cause I'm not gonna be gluing this to a wooden round. I don't think. I think I'm just gonna leave it freestanding. All right, so now we have the other two little feetsies here. Let's see. Just gonna try to separate this here. And then I'm just gonna put, because this is at an angle, I'm just gonna put the glue right here. Okay, like so. Then this hair can come down and hang down a little bit. Let's just put that there. Now I'm going to glue the other foot on the other side. So now we have both of his little feetsies on and I'm gonna call this one done. Like I said, I'm not gonna glue it down to a piece of wood or anything. I'm just gonna leave it like that. So we have this one. And now let's take another, like, yeah. Another look at our other little gnome friend. There's this one. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to make. If you would, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.